Hi everyone, it's Tawny. Today I'm doing another anti-haul, and if you saw my last one, you know that there was some atrocious entries to that anti-haul, and I have some more today that are a little bit a little bit rough, so stay tuned to the end where I'm going to be talking about two that I think are like weird and I don't understand. So stay tuned for that one. First up, we're going to be talking about the Cloud Glow Primer for Milk Makeup. Um, it says it's a cloud-like foam texture that goes on clear, instantly preps skin to create a breathable, smooth base for makeup. Brightens, hydrates, and even skin tone so your skin's natural glow comes through. I am i don't know how I feel about it being a foam. Um, I guess if it evens out, it'll look okay, like it won't be a problem. But why does milk always have to be weird? Why do they always have to try weird things? Like, I don't feel like the Hydro Grip Primer is very weird, but it's kind of up there. It's getting up there. I mean, it's different. A lot of brands have come out with their own now, but when it first came out, it was a little weird and it didn't make sense. So I feel like that's sort of where I'm at with this. Like, it's it's definitely interesting. Next up, it says there's new shades of the Honey Infused Hydrating Lip Oil from Gisso. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, I really like this promo picture. I will post my pictures here, obviously. Really like the promo picture. Um, I feel like it's really cool. I don't know if the products are going to be actually, like, the wavy or if it just looks like that. But I'm very intrigued. Depending on how much they cost, it might be something worth checking out. Like, that really cool, the lower red and the upper red. They look really nice. So I'd be definitely interested in looking them up to see, like, are they expensive? Is it going to be worth getting? Should I even bother? Um, let me know what you guys think. NYX is coming out with matte buttermilk bronzers and I'm very intrigued. I really want to try them out but my only concern is a lot of these are like a sort of pinkish tint. I don't know is that obvious to you guys? I feel like they all look sort of the colors don't look like a normal bronzer. I feel like the one Dew Butter number six looks like it could be a real bronzer, but the rest of them kind of look, and maybe the last one, the darker shade, but the rest of them kind of look a little odd. So let me know, do you guys feel this way or not? I'm definitely going to be trying them out. I don't know which one I'll get. Probably all buttered up, number two, because I feel like that one, between that one and number three, look more like a bronzer to me. And since they're only 10 bucks, like, I don't mind trying out one or two of them. There's a new brand at Target coming from Australia. It's Naked Sundays. Um... Brands need to stop having Saturday, Sunday in their, or Monday in their title because I thought this was Sunday Riley. I thought this was, there was a Saturday brand or something. I'm getting really confused. So they need to stop coming out with weekend name or weekday name, you know, it's just too, it's too confusing, but I really like the packaging. I feel like this is really cool. And it said that, um, Australia has, they have a lot of, um, UV, concerns so it's a brand that like pushes that so it seems like it's going to be a good thing for those people that like SPFs and everything uh there's going to be a water gel serum a hydrating sunscreen moisturizer a mineral glow serum drops that are supposed to be their best seller um I'm really intrigued by all of these and since they're coming to Target they're sort of in like the higher price range for drugstore but it's not so bad to try like one or two products. Their hyaluronic acid comes in 30 or it's $35 and I feel like that's a bit expensive, but I'd be interested to try it out and see how I feel. We have new products from House Labs. It's the Color Fuse Blush Powder. These look really pretty and I really like the packaging. Um, I really like the H stamped in the middle of it. I feel like that's sort of just plain, but like I like it, you know? Um, I really like a lot of the shades. So I'm really intrigued by these. I don't know if I'll be picking them up because they're $32 a piece, but it might be something to look into if they're really good formula and they're a big pan that it's worth having for a while. All right, Urban Decay is coming out with a new face bond waterproof liquid foundation with niacinamide. I am not interested in this. It's not my type of product. You guys know anything that comes in a dropper of any kind, like you squeeze it out of the packaging or it comes with like a little tube that you get with like your skincare serums, not interested. Um, it's just not for me. It's not a type of product I ever really like gravitate toward, but I want to talk about the shade range. Why are all of these shades like gray? Why do they all lean gray? Am I just seeing something or does it all look gray? I it is so unappealing to me. Every time I was scrolling through this picture on like trend mood on my phone, wherever, I was just like, I'm not interested. I don't want this. I'm not like, what, what do you think? Ooh, I don't like it. 
All right, something I probably will be trying out. Essence has new brushes and tools. I really like the way these brushes look. I feel like they look very sleek, very high-end. I feel like they'll hold the bristles pretty well. So I'm interested to try especially the bigger brushes, whether it be like the face brush or a bronzer brush. And I like the foundation brush especially, so I might be trying those out. I just think they look really cool. And I'm very interested to try them out, and especially because Essence is like so affordable. We have a new face palette from Natasha Denona. I have heard mixed reviews about this, but it looks like it's very interesting. It's going for $62, so that's something. I really like the shadows that are the eyeshadows at the bottom. I feel like they're really cool. I like the bronzers. The blushes aren't really for me, but you know, not every palette's going to have everything you want in it. Um, I really like this. I'm not going to be purchasing it because I don't have $62 to blow on a palette that I'm not overly overwhelmed, like, excited about. But I'd be interested to hear people's thoughts because I've heard very mixed reviews so far. All right. Um, Glossier now has Cloud Paint Bronzers. I am very intrigued by this. I feel like they might be a light product because I feel like Glossier is a very like skin tint type brand. So I'd be interested to see how these apply and if they are, you know, super opaque or if they're more translucent because the shades look really pretty and I think it could be really cool. And for 22 bucks, I would try some. Like, I'd be interested to try one or two. Too Faced is coming out with the Disco Crush Eye and Face Sparkle. Um, it says it's in the shade Heart Eyes, a shifting warm rose gold sparkle. This is so pretty. I, like, this. every time I look at the picture, I'm like, oh, it's so nice. And it kind of has that, like, Fenty Beauty shape packaging. But I like it. Like, I, I like it, you know. Regardless, I think this is a really cool glitter. And I think it'd be cool to try. Whether it be on your eyes, on your face, wherever. All right. We've gotten to the point where we have the two atrocious products. The first one is from Refi, which I've heard of them loosely, but I've never tried them. It's the Lash Sculpt Mascara. Um, the wand grosses me out. Like, it looks weird. I don't know how else to say it. I really like the pictures of the finished eyes after they're done, how the eyelashes look, but the wand is so weird, I can't get behind it. I will not be trying this. I can't. Okay, and the last one I'm very confused about. So it says new additions to the yummy skin family, which first of all, that's kind of gross. Yummy skin, ew. Like, what are you, like a cannibal or something? Um, it's a water serum, water powder serum. Uh, it says it mattify, mattifying blurs, smooths, and soothes skin. Um, that was really hard to say. You can wear it alone or under makeup for all skin types. Interesting texture, applies like water, and vaporizes to a smooth powder. Okay, when you market it like that, it's not so bad. It comes in like a little bottle. I think you like squirt it out. It's not terrible. I think the name is just weird. I like the packaging. I like the way it looks in the packaging. It's just the concept of the product is so weird. And then there's a moisturizer repair balm. That looks kind of gross, but it kind of just looks like Vaseline. So like, it's just your personal preference on if you like it or not. Um, these are really weird. The concept of a water powder serum, like, I don't know. I feel like it reminds me of when Farsali came out with the liquid powder product, it was like, how can it be liquid if it's powder? Like, that kind of negates the whole concept. It, like, blurs the two together, That it's like, at some point, it's creating a paste. Like, I'm a little confused. Let me know, are you guys going to be picking up this product or any of the other products? Are you interested in them, or do they freak you out like they do to me? Um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you get notified when I upload my next video. Stay tuned for that one, guys, and I'll see you then. Bye.